So hi there. Today's uh, tutorial is about uh, importing in, uh, in Metaport 3 uh, E57 files. So what I did is I captured uh, 3D tour using the MP3 and then I uploaded the tour. You can see this here on my screen. This is my 3D tour. Um, yeah, just a typical example in this case for S-Build documentation. You saw me there. Yeah, you can look, okay, it's all my data. So what I did here is I, I went to add-ons or to download, depending if you downloaded it already, it will show up in add-ons or in downloads. Because I did download already, uh, it also shows up here. But anyway, if you jump into your tour, you can download your E57 file here. You have to order this, it's uh, around whatever it shows, around 80, 90 euros. Um, that probably might change, I don't know. Uh, it's not about pricing this tutorial. Please look to your own cloud to see what you have to pay for it. But it's automatically created, so you just had, have to uh, order this and then you can download. So I did download download the data already. You see my point cloud, it's an E57 and yep, it's 4.5 gigabyte. Of course, um, a lot of data. So I don't wanna import it into the registration tool because it's registered, uh, the cloud is doing this for me so I don't have to waste any time here. Um, I could import into the registration tool if if I need to clean my cloud. So if, if I would say, yeah, I wanna cut off some things, maybe that is an option. But for now, we go to the modeler and then we go to create and then you have to select your cloud. So that is under download, it's my file here. I go and open and then you see here more options. We have also a tutorial what these option, options are meaning. I would recommend to go to uh, 0 0.5, so two and a half centimeters for now, because the the density of the point cloud is not so high like you like you are used from a typical laser scanner if you're using this kind of device, and then data accuracy I would probably also go to medium, but you can play with this uh, numbers and you should play. And then important is it's stationary scans because you have all the scan position in this E57 file what you receive from Metaport and then you click OK. And then it's asking where should I save my project? That's fine for me. We call it, let's say my first project, my first project MP3, save. And then it's importing the data. Uh, have a little bit patient. Uh, we are talking about huge data, especially the image information and the high resolution of the images, taking time to bring it into it. Um, it should work, the machine. Let's look to the task manager. Um, yeah, that is still okay, but you see here NVIDIA is doing the image processing, is running full, full power. So depending on your graphic card, it, it takes a little bit to import the data. Uh, now the CPU was high as well. Now you have to wait until the reading of the data is done and then I'll be back uh, with the next step. So after data are written, um, you, you, you have an overview. So now you have an, an fence tool where you can cut off things if you don't like them. And yeah, you can also yeah, zoom in and out if you need to zoom in in more detail. And then after the selection is done, everything outside will be cut off or will be deleted. And then I accept this import here. And now it's extracting the surfaces. So it's finding the planes inside the point cloud so you can easily work with it. And it's also do some, you know, merging stuff and so on. Uh, it's not the point. So I'll be back in a minute um, after importing the data and then we have a quick look over the data. So finally we got the data into um, 
pinpoint. And um, most people are scared about these colors. So there's a function key F3 to switch F2, F1 to switch. I do it over here, view, and then go through colors. And then you have uh, the usual view. If you move out from the point cloud, then you see it's a point cloud. Now the, the back face calling is on, so you can turn this off, then you see also the back, back side. Um, there's a navigation tutorial how you, to do so. Uh, but anyway, uh, if I turn out the coordinate system uh, and show you, I mean, one basic thing, uh, you have this measure tool here and what you see is uh, depending to the measurement you can do in a Matterport tour, was also very helpful because it's automatically there. But here you can you can catch these corners. So I can say measure from here to here. Um, I can directly snap to this edge to this corner here. So and I can do it do it directly. Or if something is in front of it, so it's hidden, I can say this wall, this wall, this wall. Okay, I did it wrong, once again. Yeah, then I get the angle between these two, and then I have the third one, and then I have my point, and now I go to the ceiling, and now it's auto autogonal uh, to the top, and I can adjust it to move it directly in the, in the corner of these edges. So same thing. Um, if I hit OK, I can save this measurement here and can blah, 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 this is this and this. OK, anyway, uh, also you can do the same thing. You can measure from here to here. And then, for example, go all the way down. And then let's say from here to here to here. And then I have my distance here. And again, I can save it and I have my measurement here. And yeah, that's the measurement. Okay, that's the tutorial for importing the Metaport 3 E57 point cloud into Pinpoint, work with it and uh, see what you can do. Please look to the other tutorials, what you can do with the point cloud, point cloud sections, uh, 3D modeling, um, floor plan creation, whatever you want to do. There's a lot of options, but yeah. If you like it, uh, give us a thumb up or um, uh, be a member of our channel. And I'm looking forward to see you next time. Bye-bye.